All right, guys, what's going on? Another video for you now. Um, basically, uh, as you can see, if you look at my screen here, I'm running 6.60 Pro B10 custom firmware. Now, this is for the the 6.xx Pro C public beta um, install. Now, I will state this: when you install this, your firmware isn't going to change, and it's a little more complicated installing firmware doing it this way than it is as if they made you know the whole eBoot installer where it's permanently flashed or um, virtually flashed. Uh, in my case, it would be virtual because it's PSP Go. But uh, anyways. Uh, Make a long story short, file I'm going to have you download, and this is the 6.xx Pro C Public Beta 0.05. So double click on that and open that up, or right click on it and extract to your desktop, one or the other. And you're going to see this folder 6.xx Pro C Public Beta 0.05. Double click on that and open it up, you'll see 660, 639, 635, and 620. In my case, I'm running 6.60 custom firmware, as you can see, so I'm going to open up the 660 zip. Opening that up, I'm going to exit this and close that up. Alright, so now that I'm in that 660 zip, uh, you're going to see SC Plugins, KD, and Documents. In the Documents, you're just going to see the license, which isn't really that important. SC Plugins, you're going to see this server and hotspot text. Um, there's nothing written in the hotspot, and the server is just pretty much a link for you to go to, and this is just a PRX. So don't worry about that at all. What we're going to be mainly looking at is the KD folder. So open that up, and you're going to see the PSPNet underscore mini UPNC, the PSPNet underscore ad hoc uh, one, and then um, PSPNet underscore ad hoc underscore matching, PSPNet underscore ad hoc and underscore authentication, PSPNet underscore ad hoc, and the MEMAB, which is memab prx files the home pbp is a corrupt file so you're not going to be able to use it for anything so we're going to focus on these prx files and these are se plugins basically what you're going to do is i'm just going to select all of these here so all the way down to the memab so leave out the home and uh, let's go to usb mode in the psp so enabling usb mode get that out of here enable it again I don't know why it does that, it just doesn't work. Alright. Now, open this up, and I'm just going to go and locate my PSP. And what you're going to want to do is, if you haven't already, create an SE Plugins folder just by hitting New Folder up here. If you have Windows 7, if not, right click and say New Folder. Um, but open up that SE Plugins folder. And what you're going to do is just take all these SE Plugins, and drag and drop them into the SE Plugins folder. So you should have them all there just like that. Now open up the VSH text document and the game text documents. If you don't have these, right click and hit new text, rename them game in all capital or all lowercase letters, it doesn't matter, in VSH.txt. And inside you're going to write the codec for your PSP to locate these SD plugins. For example, if you're using the HD on the, um, the HDD on the PSP Go, you're going to be writing EF0 colon slash instead of MS0 colon slash. The MS0 colon slash is if you're using the memory stick. So, now, I've already pre-written what you're going to need to write, but I will read it out to you, and it will be in the description below this video, just to save time. So here's what you're going to need to write. As you can see, i got these new five lines here, five or six lines, and you're going to be writing EF0 colon slash SE plugins slash MEMAB dot PRX space one, PSPNet underscore ad hoc dot PRX space one, PSPNet underscore ad hoc control dot PRX space one, PSPNet underscore ad hoc underscore authentication dot PRX space one, PSPNet underscore ad hoc underscore matching dot PRX space one, and PSPNet underscore mini UPNC dot PRX space one. And remember, in front of all of those, you want to write EF0 colon slash SE plugins slash and then what the PRX SE plugins file is. So, once you do that, again, I will have that in the description. Also, do the same thing in the VSH folder. So, be sure to write this in both game and VSH folders. Once you're done with that, exit and save both of those text documents. And again, I will have this described in the description beneath this video. And also on my website, the link for the file will be for download. So, once that's all good and dandy, exit that and you can exit your 
zip archive or whatever. You can exit USB mode. So now go on your device and reset the VSH. So reset the VSH. Do that. While that's doing that, I'm going to enlarge this remote joy a little bit so you can see what's going on. I'm plug this in. And of course, it's not going to fucking work this time because it's a fucking faggot. Yeah, I know. Go away. Close. Cancel. Fuck you. I don't know why it does that to me. Open up remote joy. Let's see. Alright, so we'll try this again so you can see what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, there it is. So, coming over to your system settings and going down to your system information, you can see that I'm still 660 Pro B10. Now, the only thing that you've installed is the SE plugins. And the SE plugins is basically, honestly, it's what makes a custom firmware. You use PRX files to flash install a custom firmware and you just have it be named something using a PVP file, which is an eBoot, and uh, it's a boot sequence. So, if I hit select here, and let's go to the recovery menu. So, let's check it out. Coming down to your plugins here, you're either going to use system storage. If you were writing EF0, it would be on system storage or the memory stick, your choice. I'm going to go to my system storage, and you're going to see all those plugins. You're going to see the MEMAB, PSPNet underscore ad hoc, uh, PSP net underscore ad hoc control, PSP underscore ad hoc underscore authentication, the ad hoc matching, um, the PSP net mini UPNC, and that's it. Be sure that they are enabled for VSH and also for game. They are all enabled. So I'm just going to go back, back, and back to my XMB. Now, basically, what these SE plugins do is it just simply allows you to have more things work for you I guess you could say uh, so like games that wouldn't work before will work now you can have online play uh, with some of the games that you can play online with with the PSP and also you can ad hoc which is connecting PSP to PSP and playing two player that way so that's pretty much what this fixes this just fixes the bugs so again this is not a custom firmware but it is at the same time it's kind of an add-on to the Pro B10 fixed version and I state only for Pro B10 fix uh, because it'll only work with that. So um, don't use it on ME or don't use it on God. Just use it on Pro B10. So thanks for watching. That's how you install the SE plugins correctly. I will have the description below and also the download link to my uh, website where you can find this. This is going to be under the 6.xx custom firmwares in the PSP tab on my website, just to let you guys know. So uh, in case you're wondering, my website is softwarebeborn.com, so go there and you can probably find a whole bunch of other cool shit, uh, not necessarily for PSP, but also for Apple iDevices and uh, computers, PC and Xbox, and soon come PS3, so stay tuned for that. So rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, also, be sure to leave your comments on my channel for your questions answered episode 9 coming up next week, I think. Yeah, episode 9. So, uh... That too. And also, follow me on my Twitter, which is at DeathRain333 on Twitter, and my blogger um, on Google, which is Electronics and Software. And all the links will be in the description below, as well as you can find them on my channel. So, take it easy, guys, and I will talk to you later. Here's another quick install for you guys, and hope you enjoy.